Hello, this is Dr. Gay. This is an interesting, rare tumor. I've only seen maybe three or so of these in my entire career of 20 years, and it's at classic location. I think I've seen one in fellowship, and then one or two since then. But uh, this is the scapula. We're going down to the lower border of the scapula. Here's the bottom of it, and this is the rib cage. And right in between here, we see this curious area of bright signal. It's a soft tissue tumor. And notice the linear streaks. This is a fat suppressed image. You can see subcutaneous fat dark. You see these linear strands of either fat or fibrosis here. It turns out these are fatty streaks and fibrosis. And these areas that are bright are this fibroelastic collagen matrix. And this is what they call an elastofibroma. Classic location. Not too much else happens here. These are bilateral in about 60% of the cases, and they think they are related to repetitive microtrauma, this mechanical forces, shear forces down here, maybe between the scapula and rib cage with certain movements may cause this to form as a, like a fibroblastic inflammatory response, but uh, they, they apparently they don't even take them out typically, and again, they're often bilateral, so if there's a question, you can do larger field of view images to see um, if there's one on the other side, more common in females. This is just another look at the same thing. Here are the ribs. Here's the lung parenchyma here. Here's the scapula. And if we go forward, we're starting to get into it right here. Well-defined lesion. They're usually about this size. And there we go. So thank you very much. You need elastofibroma.